Well, we're sitting on Morgan Lake, early, early spring. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, you're all bundled up. <laughs> but uh, the lake is already turned over. It's uh, not gin clear yet, but it's it's completed spring turnover already. But uh, you know, we've been dealing with some really, really uh, windy, cold spring days. So the water's taking its time warming up. So it's gonna be early season uh, tactics, bright, flashy UV leeches. We might hang some blobs today. And if we get lucky, if it stays sunny and continues to warm, we might see a shallow water chronomet hatch. But uh, we're gonna have to do a bit of looking around today try to find some active fish. Sounds and good, that's well. That's why we want the depth exactly. sounder. Exactly, that's today, as we take a sport fishing on the fly. <laughs> Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First, Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. So we've dropped anchor, now what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I cruised over a, an area, a flat that's 14 to 16 feet in depth, and I marked a couple fish. So there's fish in front of the boat here. We got the wind behind us, so we can get a nice drift through here and uh, see if we can get them to wake up. Yeah, nothing hatching. We haven't seen any chronomids no. are coming off. So what tactic, leech, shrimp? Le leeches and blobs. Leeches and blobs. Are always great early spring um, patterns to try. And that's the beauty of having two of us in the boat. We can keep switching back and forth, trying different colors of leeches, yeah. and then obviously different colors of blobs. Cause we've got a bright sunny day right now, and we don't know what those colors of blobs look like when they're hanging down 12, 13 feet. So that's why we have to experiment. Yeah, well, I'm starting with cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, well, I do that. <laughs> so I'm always putting a leech on. Right on. <laughs> We tried this one spot for about 15 minutes and we never saw any fish move, we never got any bites. So because there's no hatches going on, you got to move. And so we're just make, you know, stop, make 15 minute try and then move on to another spot, try different depths and um, use the sounder to try to locate some fish. So it's all about trying to find some active feeding fish even though there's no hatches. They still got to eat. And the water chemistry is good right now. The lake is out of the turn. It's clearing up. And um, now yeah, it's early in the morning. Yeah. And that's our traditional, right? We always, you know, buzz around, look for fish yeah. first. Just poke around, spend yeah. 10, 15 minutes at a spot, move until we hopefully find a pot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>
We found them, Brian. Well, you caught a fish, John. <laughs> yeah. It's our first fish this morning. And the wind is up and it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. We better do a throat sample yeah. on this guy and yeah. have Let's a quick see. look. And I got that guy on the uh, the baby damsel. Yeah. Something we like to use in the spring always. You know, there's always those baby damsels cruising around the shallows. See what he's feeding on. You know, we're hanging in. We're anchored in 13 feet, fishing. I'm down about nine feet, nine to 10. Oh, flies out. Got the little Channer Danzel on there. Your Danzel, Brian. We'll see what. So, uh, have a quick yeah. look. Well, that's a decent fish, eh? It's a decent fish, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, he's got something in there. Got something in him. Yeah. I know the water's cold, so you can just let him go. <laughs> Now we'll just let him get out of here if yeah. he wants to. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Yeah. And okay, see what he's got, Brian. I'll bet it's full of zooplankton. Oh, is that right? Is that what it looked like? Oh. Oh. Mayfly nymphs. Mayfly nymphs. And. There could be some damsels in there too. Maize and juvenile damsels. Ah. And a bit of Daphnia. Okay. So you got them on a baby damsel. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well we got <laughs> and mayfly nymphs. Yeah, I so oh, cool. At least they're feeding. Yeah. That water's cold. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold <laughs> out here. Such. Okay, well we'll keep trying. We'll get yep. the next one out, we can start filming a bit. Yep. <laughs> right we'll on. Do. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you, we pumped that fish you caught, and it had baby damsels in it. And then you saw a big one move, like halfway <laughs> yeah. to shore. It's only five feet deep, so I shortened up to four feet and flipped it in. <laughs> That's probably the fish that moved. And I bet you they're moving in there. But at least, at least they're feeding on insects. Yeah. Even despite the cold weather. So I'm sure this guy has got damsels and baby mayflies in it as well. And why is that? Like, why the you know the baby damsel so early in the year? You know, because they're another crop of them coming, so they're available. And uh, these fish are rooting around in the weeds, and that's what they're finding. Uh -huh. So, you know, they're staying, they're hugging close to the bottom, and they're not too too active. Yeah. Uh, but that's a pretty good food source when you've got shoals that are covered in a lot of vegetation. It's mayfly nymphs and damselfly nymphs. Yeah, it's small. Like and the juvenile little. ones, they eat them. They got to hunt them down, but they they find them. Well, let's see this guy. This looks like a nice fish, right? Decent size. Oh, yeah, we're just getting going. You know, it's been an hour in, yeah. and now we figured it out. Yeah. You know, but that is the key, right? You got to figure it out. That's why yeah, throat we, samples are so important. You know, we just we had to keep moving, looking, and yeah. we finally saw a couple fish move on this on this little flat here, and yeah. uh, we just have to be patient. Yeah, exactly. Keep changing. Oh, nice. Okay, mature. A little mature fish. Yeah, it's up. Man, this wind is brutal. <laughs> Everything in the lake is triploid, but oh, okay. they're just straight three and so the males do color oh, up. Oh, they do color but up. But they okay. can't, there's no milk for them to be spawning. Oh, okay, but they will color up. Yeah. Oh, cool. So there's a, uh, you know, something to look at when you've got triploid fish, they will get dark. Yeah. The, you the, know, and that's a lot of guys think they stay chrome, but they don't. They yeah, all mature. The females up. do, but yeah. the males do color. The males up. will do color. This up. is a black water. This is a triploid black water. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, a little male. Yeah. Get all kiped up. There he goes. Gee. So, what I did is the exact same thing, like next cast. I just shortened up to five feet. Flicked it over in that five feet of water, and this guy hit this uh, nice fish. Yeah, crazy. Look at the back on this thing. Wow, that's, oh, a, that's nice a nice fish. fish John. Oh, yeah, look at the back on him. Holy cow! Well, it's a fatty, he's a fatty. <laughs> Gee, not very long, but he is thick. And there's the fly. So, oh. 
Where is it? Oh, I did it. Yeah, go ahead and get your hands wet. Yeah, there. So there's the, uh, you know, there's a little baby damsel. I'll get a better picture of it after. But that's just your baby damsel that we use all the time that we offer on the site. I'll get my hands wet. There he is there. Just easier to hold. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Yeah, nice. Look at the back on him. Yeah. I'll get him in here. There he goes. <laughs> I, see? I didn't put my hands in that much. We're and good. we got to have patience. I think we're going to be into him now. I think yeah. you've got to figure it out. We're good to go. Yeah, Excellent. perfect. These fish are in skinny water. We're in, we're we're anchored in six and a half feet of water right well, now. Well, we slid we're, down, right? We got blown down. Yeah, down. we got blown down. Yeah. I mean, they've got good color uh, oh. in the water to to mask them. So, yeah. I well, mean, that's, that's a, a nice decent fish. fish. I'll bet you he was in four feet of water. Yeah, you cast right into nothing. <laughs> yeah, just skinny right onto the water fish. right on the shore. Yeah. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, gorgeous fish. Nice chrome color. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a beauty. A... Yeah, you got to get the gloves off. You don't want them wet. You know, they're uh, the, the fish are definitely feeding. They're just a lot shallower water than we thought they would be. Yeah. And we got just major wind gusts coming down. I think we got a high of zero right now. It is cold. So it's about April 13th, I think, 12th, 13th. It's it's early season. Ice was off a while ago, and yeah. there it is, little damsel. Nice. Yeah, it's baby damsel was short too. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a quick yeah. pump. Yeah, quick pump. See, the last pump we had may small yeah. maize and baby damsels. That's a nice fish, though, Brian. Yeah. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Well, then we'll see what. Uh, I could see the I could see the damsels going in the tube. Oh, could you? <laughs> but oh yeah, There's look at that babies. Babies, really small. Really small. But look at their wig, they're alive. Yeah, they're all alive. But look at the size, <laughs> like tiny. Yeah, they're like, small. Those are, like we're using small dazzles, but that's yeah. really small. Yeah. Wow, okay. Well, our flies are working, so that's good. Oh. It's all good. <laughs> oh. Let's get some more, I don't, it's cold, man, it's cold. Just when I was having lunch, had a snack, threw it in there. Oh. Nice and guy. silver. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. But just crazy. <laughs> you know, we've used everything in the spring before, but having the baby damsels, it's so much fun. You know, it's something we use in the spring and the fall. Like we notice a lot of times when you got that vegetation decaying, you know, in the winter, tons of free swimming damsels, but they're usually a little bigger. But the damsels here are small, still good though. And they were tiny. Okay. Oh. It is cold. It is windy. Conditions are brutal, but we're still able to catch fish. Look at this little guy. There's Danzel right in the right in the top lip. There's Danzel there. So yeah, little babe down. Same one we showed you before. Yeah. But uh oh. <laughs> I'll hold them up. I'll sacrifice. <laughs> Gee, they're oh, sure yeah. fat in here. Welcome oh. to spring. Oh, my nose is running. I got the sniffles. There he is there. Beautiful. Yeah, just Beautiful. a nice, healthy rainbow. There he goes. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, we're into them, Bri. I mean, I think uh, they just started feeding. We've been out here for about a couple hours now. We're just getting into, uh, you know, probably 11, 1130. They're cranking up and they're in shallow water. So we've been working the deeper stuff earlier, nothing. Got into four or five feet, happening. Right on. Awesome. Baby damsels. Another beauty. Gee. <laughs> and actually, wind calmed down for a minute. Yeah. But talk about soft takes. Yeah, yeah, oh. the indicator isn't even moving. Like it, it just barely, you, you pull a bit on the tweak, and then you see it just slide yeah. a bit. It's almost like you've hooked weed. Like yep. you said, oh man, this wind. Oh, Sorry about the audio, but 
The wind is brutal. I gotta keep my back to everybody for a minute. Oh, that's another nice fish. Nothing huge yet, Bri, but nice fish. Okay. That baby damsel is on fire. Did he pop out? No, oh, I don't know. He's wound up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's that damsel? Yeah, right in the, wherever you get him, just like a cronman, right in the top lip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got to get the, got to get the hand cold again. Another nice one though. Not huge, but uh, just nice and, you know, they're nice and chrome in here, aren't they, Bri? And you said the size isn't what it used to be. There, oh, there he is there. Beautiful oh, yeah. fish. It's still you a know? great oh, fish. Yeah, nice and chrome. Yeah. But you know, the, you just said something about the, the pH had changed a yep. bit, or just the size pH of the is, fish? pH is a bit high, and yeah. it's, it's causing some issues for oh, okay. our condition of the fish and their overall health, so they're they're stressed a little bit more because of the elevated pH. Well, they'll come back, but you know what we're gonna do right now? Let's go to the bench. We're gonna tie you up a little damsel tie. It <laughs> seems to work great. Good day, everyone, and welcome to another segment on the bench. Here today, I'm gonna to tie up a little damsel fly. I call my ultimate damsel. This is a, a new pattern with some new materials that uh, works very well. Looks really nice in the water and uh, good reaction from the trout as well. So we're going to tie this up in a few different colors. Uh, that's the latest version on the visor right now. Here's a little one, one of my favorite colors right here. Would be more of the golden uh, coloration there. It's a translucent little fly. Uh, you see right through it, it's really got a lot of buggy nature to it. The the fly that I just showed you, the, the more of the uh, golden color is the Golden Peacock Arizona Synthetic Dubbing and I'm using some Dunn Olive for the tail and that's one of my favorite colorations. And then this one I've got on the vise is more typical of a, of a damsel, uh, lighter damsel nymph. So let's uh, go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Start, I'm going to be using uh, a P10 uh, Kamigatsu size 12 2x long nymph hook is whatever brand you like. The, uh, bead, uh, the eyes, I'm putting on some groovy eyes. These are uh, 1 8 in gold or silver, whatever you like. I usually use gold on these. The tail, I'm going to be using some uh, marabou and this is uh, green damsel is a color. And the body on this one is a uh, synthetic peacock. It is a dirty yellow. It's just the right color for that. It does get a little darker when it's wet, so it matches the tail pretty nice. And then a uh, really nice accent that makes this pattern really work. Creepy Crawly Ice Dub. Dark Olive UV. This is a really neat material. Uh, it's kind of a bluey green color. Kelly Latch told me if it's something you want to start incorporating into your fly patterns, it's a, it's just a wonderful material. And uh, I got that in the, in the side of the tail here, just a couple of strands. Kelly suggests all you ever need. That uh, it's a real game changer. And then the rib on this fly, I'm going to be using some Semperfly uh, uh, Perdigon body. Uh, it's uh, iridescent blue. It's a nice uh, blue color there. The other darker fly, I actually use a blue mylar, a darker blue on it. And you can see the, the difference in the uh, colorations, but it, it's, a, it's a great little fly. Let's get it in the vise and wrap it up. Some of you will want to maybe give it a try this summer. We'll get our damsels hatching off here soon. Depends where you're at, May, June. I've tied a lot of my damsels over the years basically with mono, mono eyes or maybe a bead chain eye. This has got a heavier eye on it. You know, Dale has informed me that they've been using a damsel for the last couple of years, great success, that it's got uh, 
the heavier uh, dumbbell eyes on them and he said it's really been uh, working well so I'm going to put that in this pattern and we'll get it out on the water to test drive it this summer but I'm showing it to you now because I believe it's uh, got a lot of merit and any of you want to give it a try get it out there let's put a little dab of head cement in there that'll set that eye up I just when I do my eyes I X them on and then I go around the bottom to tighten it up and then put the cement in and it uh, works quite well okay now let's put our tailing material in we'll just grab some of our nice marabou here pull a little clump off the side clump it off right here but length I'm looking for I can see the heavier uh, eyes making this more like a jig it gets a lot more action in the water and I think it's the action that's turned them fish on now when you're coming with this uh, creepy crawly ice tub make sure you don't let it out of the bag it's just short strands I'm going to take two strands on each side double it back little bit of and it's it looks blue on here it really does and it's actually dark all of when it gets in the water it changes the coloration it's kind of a blue green and uh, that's a good color on on damsel nymphs for sure and then we'll get come in with her this is 1 69th inch translucent blue this comes from Semperfly people and it's a great product. Throw a half hitch in there. The peacock dub is a little shorter fibers than the synthetic. Uh, Romer synthetic, but it's got nice short fibers. I'm, I'm coming off. You might want to do this with a dubbing loop to get this fibers coming off nice and perpendicular from the uh, thread. I think it's a key component. Now some of these fibers are going to pull out because they're short and that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm going to actually pull them out right now. But it's a nice buggy body. Spiky. That's good right there. Then I'll just come in with the rib. And that'll pick that up. Give it a nice segmentation a translucent blue and then I'll tie that off right there then bring in my wire brush I think it's key we'll pick these out a little more like we have and then I want to preen these back with my finger Make sure you don't stick it in your th hook but when you preen these fibers back over the the rib has got a great effect and when it's wet that looks really nice it comes comes through in the water looks really really good and then I want a little bit more on the front put a half hitch on here again and I'm just going to just put a little little heavier collar on the front of this just for between my eyes come out front here doesn't have to be nothing pretty I want some longer fibers in there I'm going to whip finish this off right behind the eye then I'll get my brush in again brush those fibers back gives it a nice taper There it is, the ultimate damsel. It's one that's going to take a pretty good spot on my my fly boxes for sure. I just got a lot of confidence in this one, and uh, hope you do too. Give it a try. We appreciate you tuning in. Uh, another segment on the bench. We'll catch you again real soon. Another slow take. Yeah, but so good.
right but now. But it's all good in six feet of water. No kidding. That's a oh, nice fish too. Oh, that's a nice one, Brian. Yeah. That's a healthy fish. Gee, the water's so cold though, they don't have much poop because the water's so cold. I don't blame them. Yeah. We don't have much poop either. Yeah, nice looking fish. Looks like another uh, little male, hey? Eh? Yeah. Darker maybe, I don't know. It's nice. Really nice colors. Oh no, that's a that's a nice color. It was really good too, because uh, Kathy and Ted are with us, right, good. Kathy? Oops. Upside down in the beach. Oh yeah, where you always get them. Kathy and Ted are with us, and Kathy right away she went up, put on one of her dances, yeah. and boom! So there he is. Whoop. Nice, there he is. Yeah. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. He's gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we're fishing five and six weight uh, rods. Nine and a half, ten footer. I think you're fishing a ten footer. Yeah, ten footer. Fishing a ten footer, and uh, floating lines, uh, quick release indicators, and you know we're fishing such shallow water, so we're only hanging five to six feet under the indicator. We've got a swivel about uh, eighteen inches above the fly, and then from the swivel to the fly, we're using. Uh, 4x, which is now fluorocarbon, which is seven pound fluorocarbon, yeah. fine diameter and less visible in the water. And we're getting a nice little wind drift too. Right, oh, with this wind. everything we've been getting has been well, <laughs> <laughs> we can't let it sit there. They want it, they definitely want it moving. And even though it's pushing pretty fast this way, yeah, they're still it's it's moving, it's not moving too fast that they won't ignore it. And so we're the way we're set up now so that we can both cast in towards shore and then right. drift yeah you know, we're exposing our flies to a lot of fish you know we're sweeping down and uh, you know there's always fish they're cruising coming up and they're probably going around they're doing a circuit and you know when they come by on that circuit yeah. they've got a couple couple baby damsels they see our from. yummy dazzle to pick from <laughs> and there it is that's where we're fishing right in that nice shallow seam and as Brian said, they come right up that whole edge and just keep working in. So that's where you want to be. You know, you got to find them. And once you find them, you're into them. Fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> So we've seen immature mayfly nymphs and immature damselfly nymphs in every throat sample, sample that we've done today, but we, we neither of us have tried a, a mayfly nymph. So I've got I've got a little bead-headed pheasant tail nymph. I'm going to put on. Just they might eat it. They're eating the immature ones. Yeah. So I got to tie it on a small uh, jig hook, but uh, it's got a little bit of flash to it, and uh, I think uh, I think it'd be a good choice. He ate the May Bry. Second cast. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. He hung me up. Oh no. I see your bobber. Can oh, he's still it? there. Yeah, he's still there. Oh. oh I got it. On a weed? Alright, so we give him slack. Yeah. Maybe. Is that the trick? Give him a little slack? He'll swim out. Gee, this wind is crazy wind. Too bad. Oh. Get out, no? Oh, I can feel the vegetation down there. Oh, I'm bringing up something. Oh, oh big. Oh, you got. Oh, oh there God. he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> On the big clump of weed. Oh, oh my God. So that's just leftover vegetation from last year, Brian. Oh. That's crazy. Gee. <laughs> I got a fish <laughs> and a salad. So there's a two, you know, baby. Yep. There it is, small. The little May. Little May. And so there are baby, baby mayflies and baby damsels. That's the ticket today. 
There you go, nice. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, we had, you know, we had to move. Those fish are still in close. Yeah, yeah. Well, we buzzed out for a bit, for a half an hour, tried up above. Yeah. Right, a little deeper water, but nothing. Yeah, and I got this guy on the May. Ah. Yeah. Are you gonna, you know what we should do is throw a sample again because it's yeah. afternoon now, right? See, see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, see what's going on. Oh, he's all wrapped up. Oh, he's all wrapped up, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, coming in backwards. He's coming in backwards. You got you got him all wrapped I'll up. Get him. <laughs> yeah, get him in the net first, then we'll check it out. There we go. All right, he's definitely got something in him. Oh, this looks a little different. This could be interesting. <laughs> he's got coronamids done. No! Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh. That would be awesome. They're small. That's those swallows. They were all oh, the swallows were grabbing. A they few were working them. Eh? I, I never saw any on the. They're no. tiny. Well, it's because it's because this wind is blowing about oh, twenty uh, miles an hour. They're Just, an eight, eight twenty. Oh, 18, oh 20. big damsels, maize. There's cabras, cabras pupa in there. It's all. There's a whole. But there's some bigger damsels in there. Uh. Cool. But there's definitely chronomids, there's bloodworms, there's maize. <laughs> All right, well. To everything. To everything. That's cool. good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro, you're getting radical. What are you doing? <laughs> well, that last throw pub had a dozen chronomid people. The swallows are out. I'm putting a little tiny greeny weenie on about a, on a number 18. Ooh. On an 18 scud hook, really small. Now, were those cronies or chiabras pupa? Or? Yeah, no, well, there was one chiabras yep. pupa in that sample, yep. but the rest were cronies. And they were uh, green and uh, silver. Size 20 or yeah. 18. I got 18s. <laughs> That's okay, well, be what close the heck? Enough. <laughs> the wind's calmed down, so you yeah. never know. We might be able to fish them. I know. You, well, oh, you'd be the guinea pig. <laughs> you know, those swallows were out earlier. Yeah. And we said, we never saw anything on the water. Well, they knew. They knew. They yeah, were well, we didn't. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Give it a shot, Bri. Well, Bri, <laughs> doesn't look like they want to eat a chronomid. <laughs> they do not want to eat a chronomid. <laughs> I had a couple more on the baby downs, though, but it's slowing down. For yeah, sure. it's, there's definitely a bit of a peak on the bite, and then she's she's tapered off. Yeah, but it might come back on. Yeah, but the weather's not helping no, us. It's I, so it's hard to make a proper presentation when you get if you're standing up at the wrong time, you're going to get knocked <laughs> over in the boat. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I guess you're going to change over then. Yep, I'm putting the damsel back on or. <laughs> A leech, try Probably something wise. different. Just, yeah. yeah, I might. I think I'm gonna try a leech. Yeah. Gonna go with one. Yep. Yeah. Well, Bri, that was a cold <laughs> day out there. Jeez. I'm frozen. <laughs> How did you ever convince me to come up in April? I mean, the earliest I've ever been up here, I think, is early May. Yeah. Normally, I leave April to you guys. I'm on the Columbia, but you know what? It was an overall a pretty good day once we got on the Danzel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. We we had an earlier ice off this year, but and we had three or four nice warm days after that, and then the wind came up and the temperatures dropped, yeah. and it's it's gone back to winter, so everything is slowed down. Yeah, no kidding, because mm -hmm. with that wind chill, it had to be zero all like it didn't warm up to. <laughs> I mean, look at us, <laughs> crazy. But if you come on the spring, you know what? Make sure baby damsels, small mayflies. You know, of course, the chronomids when it warms up a little yeah. bit traditional leeches but we didn't even try a leech today yeah no it's yeah. uh you know they were on image they wanted to yeah. eat food the, their natural food sources yeah. today but um it was tough tough conditions because of the wind oh, hard to yeah. present properly but exactly. we still did okay we still did all right it was a good day <laughs> well when you come out here take care conserve waters and we'll see you next time we take a sport fishing on the fly.